To Robert O'Brien, he served as national security advisor under former President Trump. Well, what we used to say in uh, the NSC and President Trump's administration was economic security is national security. And we've got too big of a debt and we've got to get the debt under control. But I understand why there's concern over the, the size of the debt and I understand the, uh, the, the frustration of some of the, the GOP members. I mean, it's understandable. Yeah, but I mean, Republicans have objected to even passing defense spending at this point. Aren't we in a sort of dangerous moment? No. <laughs> well, we had unprecedented success in the Trump administration. As you know, Margaret, we brought home over 58 hostages uh, from countries all over the world, North Korea, Iran, uh, Russia. And but we, we had a, a ground rule. We wouldn't pay ransom. And look, I was so pleased to see CMAC and Murad and the others come home. I, I, I felt like I failed them by not getting them home. But we weren't going to pay six billion dollars. We were going to pay a billion plus per hostage because that creates a market for hostages. It, it makes your blue passport worth a billion dollars. And so I, I'm concerned that Americans traveling abroad are going to be targeted by countries like Russia and China and Iran, mm -hmm. but also terrorist organizations who know that they can get a, a big ransom if, if, we, if we pay these sorts of, of fees. And, and we just weren't prepared to do it. But we had unprecedented success bringing Americans home from all over the world. The other, the other, the other issue, Margaret, is what is Iran going to do with that money? We saw this mm -hmm. with the JCPOA. They, they took that money and they spent it on terrorism and on ballistic missiles and on nuclear programs. But I'm, I'm very concerned about the, the look of the deal internationally. Well, the, the president of Iran came to the UNGA last week and said he'll use the money any way he pleases. That it's the government money of the, of the people of Iran and he'll use it however he wants. Ah! Uh, and, and we have to understand, Margaret, money is fungible. Yeah. So the, the, the money that they're spending now on children's hospitals and on food, they'll use that for the military and for terrorism and take this money and, and re replace it with the other program. So money's fungible. This money is going to the Iran regime. It's a terrorist yeah. regime. It's the largest state sponsor of terrorism. And it's going to kill a lot of people, unfortunately. Ah! The problem is, is this happened after the JCPOA when we paid hundreds of millions per hostage. The price went up under the, for, the price went up from Obama to Biden. But uh, That's not as soon as they let a, a couple of hostages go, Jason Rezar and others, they just restocked the pool of hostages. They went yeah. and took a few more dual citizens who were visiting family in Iran. And, yeah. and took them hostage. So we've got to stop Americans going to Iran, but we've got to start thinking about Americans going to China and Russia as well, where they're taking hostages and using this against us. CNN reported you considered resigning after January the 6th. Is that report true? <laughs> that, that's an inaccurate report. I had never considered resigning. My, my feeling as national security advisor is that you took the job for the good days and the bad days. And uh, we, had, we had the Abraham Accords, we had Serbia, Kosovo, we got NATO to spend money defending themselves. So President Trump had a really, really successful foreign policy uh, run. We sent a strong message to the Chinese. We sent a strong message to the, message to the Russians that the American people are united, that we're, we remain fundamentally strong, and we're not going to let them take, take advantage of any domestic uh, uh, political discord in, in the United States. And well, I think that served the president well, and I think it served the American people well. And uh, my, my feeling is if the president asks you to serve, and I've got kids who are serving in the military, you salute and say yes. So, but that's really up to President Trump if he wins, which I, I right now, according to the Washington Post, he's up by 10 points. So it looks good for him, but uh, that's up to him and my family. You don't have any doubts? Well, I think there's going to be a great team, and I, I think we need to return. America looks weak now. We're not weak. We're fundamentally strong, but America looks very weak right now. We have to return to a posture of peace or strength, or we're going to have uh, real problems with, with China, with Russia, with Iran in the future. And so I think uh, anyone who believes in peace or strength and is asked to serve and has experience to mm -hmm. do so should should do so and defend America. Absolutely. They cheat.